So I've got the old AL80B here set up for a kilowatt of transmit, but check out this noise floor. S9 plus, not gonna be able to hear the net. <laughs> Thousand watts of transmit isn't gonna help me at all. Victor Echo 6 Whiskey Golf Mic. Thank you, you are about a 5.5 into Alberta. So if you remember in the last video, I was almost going to take and throw out that mag loop antenna that I bought off of uh, ALI Express. Uh, MLA 30 plus I believe it's called um, yeah MLA 30 plus so today is a good example of where the mag loop might actually not be a bad thing even though it's not as good as the uh, dipole antennae is when the noise floors are low let's take a look and see so this is the afternoon Aurora net on the mag loop antenna into my AirSpy SDR receiver. It's quite listenable. So in this circumstance, the mag loop is doing its job and it's um, ignoring the local interference generated within my village here and giving me a very good signal to noise ratio compared to the dipole. Let's go back and check out the ICOM on the dipole. I can't really hear much of anything. So there's the full size 80 meter dipole antenna. And I'm wondering how it is that in the last video, that dipole definitely outperformed hands down the mag loop antenna, but today it's not so. What's going on here? Okay, so I went and did some Googling on this uh, type of antenna, and here's what I found for radiation pattern. And actually, if you look at the antenna and you view from the top of the loop so either this direction or the opposite direction is where the noise is coming from I'm trying to uh, null out if you visualize the loop itself and you can visualize like a, a big donut around the loop here and through the center is where the null is so that direction or this direction and the bulk of the of the um, directivity or where it's got gain I guess if you will is going to be sweeping through the sky so that is actually quite useful for near vertical incident skywave which is pretty much what we're doing with a low mounted dipole antenna where most of the uh, energy is pointed straight up at the sky okay so i brought my laptop outside and i'm connected to the airspy sdr receiver through the uh the house um, Wi-Fi here. I'm using the uh, AirSpy server to broadcast the um, the data from the AirSpy to uh, the network, and I'm using the um, AirSpy software to pick that up based on the IP address of the server inside the house. So here's the orientation of the antenna as it was, and I'm holding it with my hand here, and we're gonna play around with the the antenna while we're watching the noise floor. You can see that the noise level is really picked up there. You can also hear it. Let's see if I can get the camera a little closer. You can hear the sound. Okay, so the noise is gone. The noise is back. Okay, and now if I orient the antenna, this direction you can see the noise floor picks up 
and in this direction the noise floor drops Here's the one orientation and here's the other. Well, I didn't really have time tonight to do an exhaustive uh, investigation as to the difference in the radiation pattern or what characteristic it is of the dipole antenna that allows that noise to come in so easily. Um, as opposed to the uh, magnetic loop antenna, but it's probably something to do with the radiation pattern and the fact that the uh, mag loop has a fairly sharp null point through the center of the loop. And of course that null allows the magnetic loop to be oriented in such a manner that it uh, can be used to get rid of a local noise source. Which well, is after having this experience tonight with this level of noise, uh, which does happen from time to time here, and that's actually the reason why I ordered the Magloop antenna to experiment with. And, you know, initially I was quite disappointed that the uh, dipole outperformed the Magloop so much in the first video I made. But now tonight that noise has returned and the dipole is really uh, suffering from it, the Magloop antenna is able to be uh, that null in the pattern of the Magloop antenna is, is able to null out that noise and I'm able to actually pick up those signals and uh, make heads or tails out of them. So maybe I won't throw out the Magloop just yet and there's a good possibility too that I might be able to make use of that d directivity or that nulling point on that antenna to be able to try to locate the source of this noise. Well this is another one of those circumstances where I'd love to stay up all night and uh, hobby but uh, unfortunately I have to get up for work in the morning so I can pay for a house to house my hobby. <laughs> so I'm going to have to say uh, goodnight for now. So 7-3, this is Victor Echo 6, Whiskey Gold Mine.